Good morning. Welcome to Light and Busy, taking His glory to the ends of the world. This morning's message is captioned, Jesus, Jehovah saves. Jesus, Jehovah saves. And our team scripture is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. I'm reading from the KJV. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Again, and she shall bring forth a son, who Mary shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The name Jesus means Jehovah saves. It means Jehovah the Savior. The name Jesus is the English version of the Greek translated form of the Hebrew name of the Messiah. So that name actually meant or means Jehovah the Savior. That is Jehovah saves. What does he save from? He saves from sins and all its consequences. When you say, I have been baptized in the name of Jesus, it means you have been saved from sin and its effects. So the Bible says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Why? He goes on to give you the reason. He says, For because he shall save his people from their sins. That he shall save his people from sins. The problem of many Christians is a lack of understanding. You have to understand that things don't work if you don't understand. Things don't just work because you are a Christian. Things work when you have the right knowledge and understanding and you have renewed your mind to the right understanding to prove the will of God. And that's why God in Romans chapter 12 through Paul says that for you to prove his will in your life, your mind ought to be renewed. Now, if you don't have an understanding, an accurate understanding of the word of God, how can your mind be properly renewed for the will of God to be proven in your life? So the problem of many Christians is the lack of understanding. They go through sacramental acts without understanding the spiritual connotation. They don't understand the spiritual element behind the act. The blessing is not just in the act but knowledge of its spiritual significance. Christians all over the world will tell you that they have been baptized in the name of Jesus, but many do not understand what that really means. Why? Because their attitude and speech in life shows they never understood the meaning of their baptism in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus means salvation. So to be baptized into Jesus means to be immersed into salvation, a salvation from sins and its consequences. This is why Paul says that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free, has saved me from the law of sin and death. If there is anything brought into the world by sin, by virtue of your immersion into Jesus Christ, you have been saved from it. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Now that you are a Christian, you dwell in that name and hence are in safety. The master himself understood what his name meant and stood for. So he said, Now if anyone knew the truth, it was Jesus because Jesus is truth. So if what I'm sharing is really from the Holy Ghost, then she be consistent with what Jesus said. So the Master himself, the Master and the Lord Jesus himself, understanding what his name meant and stood for, said in Mark chapter 16 from verse 17 to 18. I'm reading from the KJV. He said, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak. Please re- Remember, he says, in my name, in my name, that is all what follows. It's going to be done in his name. So he says, in my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick 
and they will recover. What is the master saying? He's saying that since bondage under satanic influence came only after Adam sinned, and his name says from sins and its consequences. Those who believe and are baptized in his name will therefore be delivered out of such domineering influence of the devil. What is the master saying? He's saying that since when I created the world, there wasn't any sickness till Adam sinned, and my name says from sins and its consequences. Therefore, in my name, the sick will recover. If some of these ministers understood this, they wouldn't have been afraid of the COVID-19 pandemic. When the pandemic broke up, look at how some ministers and Christians were behaving. This shows that they didn't understand the meaning of being baptized in the name of Jesus. They have been speaking it and preaching it all over the years, but they lack an understanding. Beloved, if you lack an understanding of spiritual verities or spiritual truth, you will even act against God and Jesus Christ without even knowing. There have been messages which have been preached in churches in the name of Jesus, but we are against Jesus and against God. But the people preached it thinking that they were speaking for God, but they were speaking against what he stood for. And the Christians, when they are sick, they, they quote Job, they say that oh, God is trying me with that sickness to prove something in my life. Such people have not understood really Christianity. They have not understood who Jesus is. They have not understood what it means to be baptized in the name of Jesus. So you see, they are opposing themselves. They are contradicting themselves. When you lack an understanding of the mystery of Christ, the mystery of the gospel, what God is, what the gospel stands for, what his name stands for, you will speak things against him. You will, you will stand against him, oppose him, without even knowing that you are opposing him. And there are many who oppose him. And when you come and God sends us to come and teach them the truth, too, they become angry. But they lack understanding. They lack understanding. But he tells us, he says, my son, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, he says, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. He alone, he God alone, gives wisdom and understanding. And it pays for us to understand. God bless you.